soul rewards and accountability at Raymond Temple starts in 30 days. What is PBIS Rewards? Let's find out. Hi everyone, I'm here to talk to you about PBIS Rewards. But first, I have a few questions for you. How would you like to get your own very special lunch? Let me show you how you can have things like that and more, all while making your school a great place to be. Your school is going to set a few expectations for behaviors they want to recognize, and when you do them, you earn rewards. Don't worry, it won't be anything like cleaning toilets or washing your teacher's car. It'll be things you're supposed to be doing anyway, like being in your seat when the bell rings, being prepared for class, and walking safely in the hallways. See, when the whole school follows these expectations, you have more time to learn and your teachers and parents think you're a star. Plus, you're going to enjoy school even more. Are you ready to earn some rewards? Let's do this. Let me get that for you. Woohoo! You can also earn rewards by being on time to class being prepared, and helping keep the school clean. Now this is the fun part. Let's go pick out some of the cool stuff we earned. You can grab something from the school store. I always wanted my very own speedboat. You can also earn your way into events. I have just enough points this grading period to get into that class trip to the moon. And that is how it's done. PBIS Rewards is a great way to help you make your school a positive place to be, and to make school even more fun. By using the PBIS Rewards student app on your smartphone or on the school portal on a classroom computer, you can see how many points you're earning and see store items or upcoming events. It's just that easy, guys. Hate to run, but it's lunchtime for me. Luckily for me, I earned a pass to be first in the lunch line. But stick around so you can learn even more about how PBIS Rewards will work in your school and how you can start earning rewards of your own. New questions to answer before you come to school. Yes to any of these questions means you please stay home. Good morning, Raymond Temple. Today is Thursday, November 19th, 2020. Dr. Salas here, and once a week, I will be bringing you the morning announcements. First, I want to uh, remind everyone of my soaring tip of the month. We are looking at what we need to have a growth mindset, and we are exploring what it means to be resilient. So let's hear from my favorite toddler, Elmo from Sesame Street. Let's see how Elmo can show us how to be resilient. Now remember that your, your water bottle's in your lunch bag in case you get thirsty. <laughs> now you have a good day, son. Wait. But maybe, maybe Elmo should stay with Daddy at home today. In case Daddy gets lonely. Oh, well, that's nice of you, son, but I'll be okay. I'll see you later. Well, how about, how about if, if, if Daddy comes to school with Elmo? Yeah, I, Daddy can be Elmo, Shell, and Tad. Oh, well, maybe we'll do that one day, but right now it's time to go. No. Elmo, what's going on? Elmo doesn't want Daddy to leave. Oh, well, that's okay, son. It's okay. Oh, oh, well, hey, look who's here. Oh. Hi. Elmo <laughs> is about to go into his preschool here, but sometimes it's still a little hard for him to say goodbye. Isn't that right, son? Yeah. And that's okay. Lots of kids feel that way sometimes. What, really? Mm hmm Do you ever feel that way? Like you don't want to say goodbye to Mommy or Daddy? It can be hard for lots of kids. Uh, but, Elmo, you really like school, don't you? Well, yeah. Elmo likes school a lot. Elmo likes Daddy, too. Oh. Elmo loves Daddy. Oh. Elmo doesn't want Daddy to go. Oh, son. I love you, too. <laughs> maybe, maybe it's time to try a new strategy. Strategy? Well, what's that? Huh? Oh, <laughs> a strategy is a, a plan. A plan to help solve a problem. We can come up with a new strategy to make drop-off time easier. Ah, well, how? 
Well, I don't know yet, but we'll figure it out. Mama doesn't know. This is hard. Well, just because something's hard doesn't mean we're going to give up. We're going to figure this out, okay? Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. Oh, uh, maybe we could do a special handshake when we say goodbye. Oh, I yeah, a special one that only you and I do. Or, or a special fist bump. Fist bump? Yeah, like this. Oh. <laughs> oh, well, I like that. Yeah. Does that make you feel better about saying goodbye? Not really. Oh, well, that's okay. We'll, we'll come up with another strategy. Uh, what about? If we say goodbye in a fun kind of way, uh, something like, uh, oh, see you later, mashed potato. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> bye bye, pizza pie. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> uh, do you think that would help? Well, a little. But Elmo still doesn't want Daddy to leave. Hmm. Well, maybe it would help if I gave you something to take with you. Oh, but, but, but like what? Like this. Huh? There. Now you hold on to that kiss so you can feel Daddy's love whenever you need it. Oh, yeah. Emma likes that. Now Emma will have Daddy's kiss all day. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and just remember, we're going to be together again real soon. I always come back for your pickup time, don't I? But yeah. And you're going to have a great time in school. Just think of all the fun things you're going to do. Oh, well, Emma does like playtime with his friends. And story time, and circle time. Oh, and free time, too. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> Elmo, huh? school's about to start. OK. He'll be right there, Mrs. Betancourt. <laughs> you OK now? I, I think we found some good strategies, right? Well, yeah, Daddy. We figured it out. I knew that we <laughs> would. Now. You hold on to that kiss, okay? Yeah. And maybe this time we don't say goodbye. We'll just say bye-bye for now. Okay. Bye-bye for now, Daddy. Bye-bye <laughs> for now, son. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope it taught you something about what it means to feel resilient. Does it mean you don't feel sad? It means that you're able to visit sadness, create a strategy to help you to get over feeling sad. And I hope no one out there thinks they're too old to learn from our friends at Sesame Street. For lunch today, you are having teriyaki chicken sliders or the Centralia Cuisine chili. Hmm, that sounds pretty good. Teriyaki chicken sliders or the Centralia Cuisine chili. That sounds delicious. Remember that our mask contest is due today, November 19th. And now for our word of the day. Our word of the day in keeping with our Thanksgiving theme is feast. Feast is the word of the day. Feast is a noun and it means to have a big plate of food and usually have it during special occasions. Feast, a noun a big serving of food and usually served on special occasions. A synonym for feast is a plate of food or meal. An antonym, a feast does not mean that it's a snack. My sentence for the word feast is most scholars enjoy a feast for Thanksgiving. Most scholars enjoy a feast for Thanksgiving. The word of the day is feast. I think that's it. Oh, don't forget, we start our vacation for Thanksgiving break next week. We begin our vacation November 23rd 
until November 27th. That is your Thanksgiving break. I'm sure you've heard in the news that this Thanksgiving is probably going to look a little different at your home. I know it's going to look different at my home. I want to wish everyone a wonderful Thanksgiving. Please be safe. Keep your distance. Wear your mask and wash your hands. And hopefully you can have a safe small Thanksgiving this year so we can go back to having our big extended family Thanksgivings next year. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, and I hope you have a great day of learning, scholars. Bye-bye. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty, and justice for all.